something like a staying faceless void who can just torno him and turn around really fast. So I think Bristleback will actually have a pretty good time this game. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's see how Havos does. It's certainly the aggressive type of hero that, that he loves to play. You gotta be up in their faces with this one. You also have to have something in front of the Shadow Fiend. You can't have, like, another... A rider in front, yeah. You can't have, uh, yeah, him, like, Shadow Fiend plus, like, I don't know, like, Luna or something like that. Gyro, the, the weaker uh, agility heroes. You need, you need a tank. You need, you need someone in front, yeah. yeah and so. he also has more minus armor, too. They can take out Roshan fairly easily if they ever get the opportunity. So I like the BB pickup. Yeah. An ancient rule of thumb from World of Warcraft, you know? And going for those raid bosses. Gotta have it. All right. Oh, Jesus. These shadow guy needs new clothes. Hey, it's nice. You don't miss the action. <laughs> you also can't see the action sometimes. All right, let's run through our drafts here. We might have a little engagement top lane. Doesn't look like it, but yeah. On the dire side is Team Fnatic. Come with me. The Dark Seer, we'll have Rise supporting him on the Skyrath Mage. The Patani on the Weaver. Ward already dropped here in the off lane. That was placed by Ace. Appears to be a solo off lane Jakiro for now. Normally we see him more in the dual lanes. Arise, your Brewmaster, and for Navi, of course, their opponents. One hour so far in the Summit 2. Battle. We've got Funic on the Bat Rider. That puts Dendi with the Arcana. Nice to see that on the Shadow Fiend. That Arcana is sick. It yeah. really is. FNG, the Triumph Protector, Havos, the Bristleback, and Vanskor, the Bane. It is. It's one of the best Arcanas in the game. I actually didn't like the concept art when I saw it, but. They've been implemented well. I still don't really like the new Shadow Rays animation. That's not really an issue with the Arcana. For... It like, waves his arm and then like a Rays appears later. Doesn't feel so, fluid. This is cool from uh, Funic. You don't see this very often. He used Firefly to cut down these trees earlier. So he can get better vision of where the supports are at all times and he will get fogged. Um, Batrider already has very limited vision in the daytime compared to almost any other hero in Dota. What is his AoE? It's like 1400 I think. Okay. Everyone else is 1800, or almost everyone else, like, not, not Night Stalker, but for the most part it's 1800. And he has normal nighttime vision, right? Uh, I don't remember. They tweaked it a little bit, but it's fairly normal. Normal enough. Normal-ish. Okay. It's, uh, Mid lane, we will see Dendi getting the this better early block here. He'll be able to last it under tower, and he's actually gone for the raises level one. It's something that we saw Arteezy started to do a lot, uh, I don't know, five, six months ago, and I guess the, the idea is basically you just secure your bottle early on, and you can catch up in souls a bit later. I mean, the difference in between... The time that you're level 1 is very, very little. It doesn't make yeah, that big of a difference. it's just the one wave. Yeah, it's commonly seen in the TA matchup, but versus Panda, I don't think Panda's that difficult of a matchup. In terms of being blasted. Yeah, Dendi does have that bottle now, though, so... Very least to be able to regen and... Uh-oh, Batrider. Not having fun here. What's Rise gone for? It's an early point in Arcane Bolt. No concussive. Too much kill potential yet, but that could change. And they are running a four-position darks here in the in the jungle. I mentioned the Jakira off lane, but I wasn't sure come with me would actually stay here. Something we just don't see much of anymore. Yeah, I fully expected Jakira on top lane. Do you think it's gonna work? So far, the Jakira's doing okay bottom. Yeah, it looks okay. It's it a pretty fun. weak killing lane. Sleep into what? Leech Seed, I guess? I mean, if they can get away with it and the supports aren't uh, messing with the mid lane, then it's not a big deal. It's They're actually getting a lot out of it. They just have one extra person farming. A little skirmish for the bottom rune. FNG gonna take some Liquid Fire Harass, but he secures the double damage rune. He's probably gonna skill Leech Seed now, and he gets Fog going for Ace, who flaps away to safety. There's no boots up on three. Why don't we see more trees go for boots nowadays? It seemed it was like the go-to build every game when, when PPD was playing it. Yeah, it is, but Leech Seed's just pretty weak at level 1 now. It got nerfed significantly. That would explain it then. For now, yeah, that's something we haven't talked about is Living Armor is not going to be effective this game. They have Liquid Fire, the Swarm, Scarf Mage Mystic Flare, and Ion Shell, so... Dual Breath. Yeah, three could be pretty underwhelming, to be honest. Yeah, I generally... Overgrowth is really good against Brewmaster, though. Well, I think really good Brewmasters will dispel it. AoE, but I actually haven't seen I don't know why. Does it dispel it? It should. Okay. I don't see why not. You can Manta out of it, so. Yeah. Like, bigger you can. I've never, I, I've seen Brewmaster, like, in, even in, especially in China, like, the teams will pick Tree to to counter Brew, but it just... I actually don't... Never, never dispel. Yeah. I, I'm, Maybe it's just something people don't... That spell is criminally underutilized in general. It is. 
I remember uh, you could like dispel sprout trees in Dota One. <laughs> <laughs> could you really? Yeah, they were like summon trees. So, so they, yeah, they weren't like real like map trees, I guess. Yeah, there's some wonky interactions with that, but all in all, very passive, passive early game. This ward and the opponent's jungle will hinder their farm a decent amount, and Skyrath will be forced to do other things that stead. I do want to point out, Denny is just wrecking this mid lane now. 18 and 4 on his Shadow Fiend. He's zoning a rise out of the lane at this point. He's getting free farm. No oh, ganks as of yet, and... Funic. If he spotted out here, Concussive Shot will come through, but... Not too much they can do about that. At least not without backup. He is going to walk in to come with me. But he can just kite him over the tree line if need be. Although, he's First now down in the river. Big love for Aspen, and while that was happening, Denny just solo killed the brew. Oh, man. Triple race. Yeah, Jeez, he's there. level 6 now. He's level 6 full man in. That's absurd. He was pretty farmy mid, but... Pretty farmy mid and killing the brew are two very different things. Yeah, Arise is actually a pretty good solo mid. Arise that gave up first blood. I was watching uh, Funic as well. Yeah, that's that one's on me. <laughs> Definitely didn't expect that. that. Radiant's top well, power is under attack. Obviously a fantastic start for Navi in that department, and... They're doing pretty well elsewhere. In theory, you do look at Fnatic getting a bit more off the map running the jungle darks here, but Radiant's if you're giving enough kills to a solo mid shadow fiend, then that is not a good trade. Yeah, I think the Skywrath should have tried to pressure him a little bit. Yeah, they have the trim protector, but at the same time, you just can't let shadow fiend do whatever he wants. He's probably one of the worst heroes to leave alone in solo one, unless you have a heavy lane dominator. Bonic is still getting his levels off lane. He's been under some pressure, but... Trying to shut down the Batrider is not easier said than done, that's for sure. I wonder if it's going to be like a... Or Dendi. He, he loves to even like... Run. I've seen him just go like boots blink, but... Yeah, he's already picked up the Gloves of Haste. So that definitely won't happen. And... Oh, he's going to be sad now. No points of action. Can he TP out? Gets the burn. I think his corpse actually... No, it didn't make it to base. He got punched by Darks here. Meanwhile, top lane, there's going to be more action onto Funic, who found a solo kill with Scarath Mage. But Hani looks to turn this one on him. He's got Sukuchi, no time lapse. Has to be careful not to immolate. And this might be where the living armor turns it. Hani, gonna... Oh, close. He had the stick charges. Funic actually trapped now in the trees. They do get that much to kill the Shadow Beat, and they're gonna Bruce Plate mid. FNG doesn't have a point yet in H's guys, and even if he did, that boulder top more than enough. Really kill, so. And dispel. Dispel that. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I honestly, I, I feel like most games you don't even see dispel used. Except for Cycle. Yeah. Yeah, just for Cycle. So, well, that's a nice change of events. Yeah. Will this be a nice change of events for Funic? No, not really. Come with me stealing his rune again. He's been under the gun there. Well, despite the death, Dendi is still CSing well. I mean, he may even go for that Midas. That's definitely a possibility. Did not complete his treads. What has Vanscore been doing? I haven't really been watching him that much, but there's no stacks available for Shadow Fiend or for Bat Rider. He's only level 3, so he's not playing like super. Maybe he's just been. Entire time, Ace. Oh. Yeah, I haven't seen him towards mid. He's been. It's been the tree getting the rune spot him, so I can only imagine Vanscore's just been pulling and sitting there. Not really rotated at all. Would like to see him with the TP to potentially protect that shadow field if they dive in. Picked one up just yet. In comes my favorite courier, Justin Beaver. <laughs> can't believe anyone... See, it's so bad it's good, man. Can't believe... Can't believe Valve made us change the name. Sad about that. <laughs> Justin Beaver. So Vos will die past the tier 2, he finds a kill on the Jakiro, now they turn on him. Hani, Sakuchi through and in for the trade here, Living Armor has been used and Hani can't really do too much more from here on that hero. He'll try to turn to Vanscore instead. They're able to retreat out together, still diving, he is level 7 now. Low on mana but has 5 stick charges, Brain Sap. They'll bring Hani low and Arise with no blink just can't get in too close. He'll try to scurry forward, does Hani get a body block off? Thanks for Oh no, magic stick unfortunately. They may just be able to run him down, another living armor in four. It's not gonna come in time. Gets him falling and then Hani time lapses out. Mid lane, Dendi is already pushed down the mid tier one and he's just casually farming at the tier two. Completely out of control shadow feed, 4.1k net worth already. Yeah, and Panda is forced to rotate off the lane to try and help this bottom tower and the bottom tower is still under heavy pressure. Oh no, funny. Bit of trouble here for him. I, Ace will manage to catch him out, but he's also burning the dragon down. The bat trying to finish him off will fail in that, but came very close. Suddenly, Dendi's just moving through the enemy woods. He's now picked up his Midas, going back for the treads. 
That's an eight minute Midas treads and some gold in the bank to boot. Not only it's also a bank score top lane. He's diving too. Welcome to Navi Dota. Four kills for them, but it's a whole lot of aggression this early on. Rises didn't do a good job of managing his. FNG. Be another Bruce split just to kill off this tree. Not gonna bother with that. Just claps him and the living armor won't help you at all. Nice kill for him, but a hasty Dendi marches in. He's looking for come with me, Surge is there. He's gonna try and keep with him through the Surge. Can he follow him? Will there be a Fog Juke up and down the ramp? Dendi's ready for it. He turns, he looks for the raise, and nope, nope, Dendi. Raise, raise. Oh, he almost got outplayed completely by come with me. Does manage to get it off and he'll scurry away to safety. No blink on our eyes, so he'll be able to retreat. That was really well played by Come With Me, though. He almost managed to juke that. Yeah, and this animation on the raise is way different than the normal. <laughs> well, they changed it in general with the new remodel, right? It's mm -hmm. not just the Arcana. Yep. Brew closing in on Blink Dagger, and Iron Shell Panda is actually pretty good. The Iron Shell sticks on her Earth Panda, even after Split, which is just massive damage, because that's usually the only one that almost guaranteed survival. Yeah, I guess the only downside is it's not particularly fast. Do you have the boulder toss on the cyclone? You can usually stay. Pearl there. boulder. <laughs> Pearl too hard. They do get their blink on the brew now, so blinks up for a rise. Mech. No, it's not a mech for company. He's gonna go for the Midas. And Bone 7 build and play. Everyone playing a bit greedy on Fnatic. They ran the all flame Jakiro, but he's, it feels like they've just stretched themselves a bit too thin. They've let the Shadow Fiend free farm. The Bristleback's getting a lot out of the safe lane. The Brew's been slowed down. 10 minute blink is not terrible, but certainly not the fastest. With Dark Suit and Midas, it's going to put more pressure on the rest of the team to, to carry the load. Yeah, and Honey's. I, I mean, he's going for a, what, a, probably a Lincoln Spear? It's decent versus Bane and Batrider, oh, but you can still get procced by other spells. Such as goo, the goo, and I mean he's not gonna have any damage either, and they don't have like any minus armor on their team, no blood loss, to augment his damage, and he's tending like a wet noodle, especially versus premium protector too. Yeah, it's in theory goo is really good against Lincoln's fear, but it's more just it's gonna be a while before he really does anything. He's not farmed particularly well for a safe lane weaver. Well, he's had to move a lot, yeah. too. Uh, and I feel like a lot of that's down to the the, the, the greed. You know, running the jungle darks here, someone's got to be moving around to help the team, and a brew with no blink can't do it. FNG and kind of in no man's land, about to get blinked on. They're all trying to descend on this bottom lane, but Hani's going to back off while meanwhile mid. That's where the other action happens as Rise blinks in, claps, and smacks down the tree. Another Whoa. death for FNG. Died, what, three times now? Yeah, zero and three. At least it's not Shadow Fiend. Yeah, well, they've kept Dendi well away. He's going to stick with the team. He's got Mask of Madness as well. Full YOLO Shadow Feet. <laughs> He's also going to meet him out. And if they manage, like a, a Brewmaster crit is going to be like a third of his health easily. Yeah, it's really scary versus Brewmaster. I don't really know how to plan on killing a Brewmaster. But, or he splits, I guess, Fiend's Grip, I guess. Fiend's Grip and Bat Rider Ultimate. They probably have to use both. The one nice thing about the Mask of Madness is I feel like it's less relevant with Shadow Fiend, but it does accelerate your farm a bit for things like Ancients. It also, outside of that, he can just raise down creeps anyway, so it's a very risky build from Dendi, but he's certainly known for that style of play. He has so much attack speed. Are they going for two man roach? Let's go living armor. They're gonna let Bane tank it for a little bit. The thing is, Dendi can't. I don't think he can tank this himself. They need living armor. No, no, that's not gonna happen. Well, if Roche ignores him, kind of the case right now. Five heroes top lane for Fnatic. They seem oblivious to this, and with the living armor there, it's working out. It's actually a pretty fast Roshan, too. Yeah, here he has one point of presence of the Dark Lord, and then he just has so much attack speed right now. Talking about like what 170 attack speed ish? The thing that's really nice about this is like Shadow Fiend, you don't think of as a Roche hero. It's not like you see an Ursa on the enemy team and you're constantly Radiant scouting for it or, or like it. Attack. I mean, he can roach, but normally he doesn't sneak at this early. Certainly not Radiant. Though. Yeah, you never expect a, like, a Bane in the Shadow Fiend to be doing it. And they're both just going to bait this one perfectly. Aid just picked up. They're going to jump onto him, but he's already got Buckler and Vanguard. Can they really afford to be committing for him? Doesn't seem like it. The Lasso and Ace killing off the Twin-Headed Dragon. The Tower. 
went the way of the Jakiro, so they at least get the gold for that, but Roshan and Aegis on your Shadow Fiend, well worth it, and now the Mask of Madness should pay off. We've only seen one Panda Ultimate this game, and that was very, very early on to kill the Trim Protector. They need to get more mileage out of the Brewmaster. You don't pick a Brewmaster to win fights 20 minutes. When you pick them to win from 5 to, like, 30 minutes. Yeah, and then you can continue to be a presence with your, your AC, Vlads, or even an Aghanims, but... The thing is, the hero doesn't farm that great either. If you're not getting kills, then you just fall behind. Well, now you're feeling confident now, Ben. They're going to push through the top lane, and they'll also look to defend bottom. Phonic TP in there. Ani, come with me. Ace all grouping up, but who leads the way for the squad? It's really just the brew that can do it. He's all farming mid. Yeah, they have to have the brew for Phonic's just use delay tactics too. And fire flying, and they don't have the tower seed. Sure, they have level 4 liquid fire, but no one to tank it. This is like a pure pub shadow fiend, but now he's building a shadow blade. Which did get improved in the latest patch of it, I believe. Oh, the break damage was increased by 25. So not the biggest deal. Buff. Bristleback has his Crimson Guard. Yeah, he seems a little squishy just by his item, but with Crimson Guard and with Living Armor and with Overgrowth, Defensive Sleeves, and all these hard disables with Bane Ultimate, that Rider Ultimate, they're going to have a hard time locking down, especially if Panda continues to play this passive. Dyer's top tower Plus is the Aegis. How much do you really want to throw out that Shadow Fiend, even if you kill him once? Bane is he's just melting towers right now. We'll double raise the wave, killing it off, and... The Great Observer or Navi are confident to take Radiant's this one. Fnatic expecting the, the Shadow Fiend early game. Seems like they're paying for it now. He's just a tower killing machine. Oh, they dusted! Attack. He tried to immediately split out hey. Van score. My goodness. <laughs> he just tried to go in solo, huh? Well, he went in with an invis and Van score just okay. randomly dusted and just immediately gripped him while he was trying to split. That was a fast reaction by Van score. Yeesh. I guess they were expecting the clap split and then TP everyone in. They left four bottom during that. That's a great play from Navi. They must have seen the rune get picked up. Yeah, they must have. It did not catch them by surprise at all. Unless they thought the Weaver was just running in, but he's a much more difficult kill. Dendi around now. Shadow Blade's online. Find a kill and come with me. Gotta come into range for a couple raises. Now he surges forward. Oh, come with me. You've gone the wrong way, my friend. You gotta search the hell out of here. Look at those auto attacks from Dendi. Brings him down to half just from that. Now Arise will blink clap and split, but he's caught nobody with this. Funnick able to blink out in time. And now the boulder toss from long range on the Vank score, but he's kept alive and... Are people even taking any damage? No, not really. That Crimson Guard doing some serious work against the Bruce split. Everybody forced back. Navi's still at full HP. The Darkseer down already. Macro Pyre's been expended. Still the Aegis stands. Crimson Guard too strong versus Brew and Weaver, it seems. They're gonna lose Ace now. Dendi gets aggressive. Double kill for Havos. Navi driven back and completely just out overpowered here in these fights. Dendi's just making them look silly. That Crimson Guard did a lot of work, too. Especially against like a hero like Weaver, who normally doesn't have the highest base damage, but just has multiple attacks. And a Panda really shuts them down. A lot of these item selections from Navi, they just don't have that, that much damage. Generally, Jikiro and Skyrath will be your damage dealers, but they can't really lock anyone down. Just because the Shadow Fiend kills them. Looks like they do want to jump in, but there's no burst, but there is a level 1 Darkseer ultimate. Fortunately, he went for that second point in Surge and the max back, so he doesn't have it yet. Try to go on Dendi, but he's got a Requiem. We'll zone the rest out. They get back back into an Ice Path, but right as it end. Didn't really do too much. Then Arise blinks to collapse in. Good AoE damage. FNG gonna drop here. The bow still standing strong with Vance Guard aside. They'll have some fresh Shadow Fiend coming back to life, but he comes back to life. Side of an ice path has to run out of here. Thanks, Score. Dendi and Havost all retreat. It was a three for two and an Aegis. Now, well, they're coming back into the fray. Dendi's gonna finish him off and turn this one around. Ow. Navi just raises. Wreck him. Five heroes dead. They'll take the first lane of Rex in 17 minutes. Man, they just destroyed. Dendi is out of control. They just didn't expend any resources to just keep it down at all. Yeah, they had the Darkseer jungle, but as you said, it doesn't really leave anyone else to roam around. Skyrath gonna be able to kill him that early. And they try to get him to die with the Brewmaster with Iron Shell, but it was just too little too late. Man. You go back to the draft where they banderizes Magnus in the first phase, and you just gotta wonder, like, would it have been different if he had gotten one of his signature heroes instead of this brew? Well, Magnus does not have an easy time versus 
versus the Shadow Phoenix, either. Yeah. But at the same time, he's probably more comfortable with it than Rue. I feel it. like the issue wasn't his laning. It was more just... Well, you can't die to a solo Shadow Fiend. Yeah, that's that just true. Can't, that that's can't true. happen. Okay, well, that wasn't it. Maybe he underestimated train armor. I'm not exactly sure what happened there, but then he was still at like 300 HP when Arise. Oh, he's going in mid lane. He's got a face turn up. He's looking for an easy support kill. Probably about to find Rise here. It's only going to take two or three auto attacks. Two auto attacks and a raise. That'll be it. And down the Scarath Mage goes. And this is almost a Daedalus, dude. The 18 minute. Daedalus, Mask of Madness, Midas, Shadow Blade, Treads, and a bottle to boot. I mean, from here, it's just like a Satanic in your gravy. Well, not Satanic, I guess, since he's mad. I don't know. Maybe an MKB for for the Brewmaster. There's more damage for Dendi. BKB is the safe build. Sleep arise. Rip will follow, and the struggle continues for our Brewmaster. <laughs> Dealt with by Navi. Rough game for Fnatic. Nothing's the going their way. Deep fights are inadequate, the Roche sneak wasn't Dyer's scouted, they gave up a first blood mid on the, the Brew 1v1 against Shadow Fiend, they didn't shut down the Bat Rider, the Dark Seer in the jungle hasn't really done anything yet. Dyer's Can they hold the second lane or Axe, Ben? If not, it's pretty much GG. Yeah, it was looking okay for him at the start, the but they haven't really attack. been able to coordinate anything and get any mileage out of Panda Ultimate. And the problem Radiant is this push is coming a lot faster. They don't have as much time to sit back and wait for a good opening. The Bat Rider's gonna jump in, goes for the lasso, finds cover for me, pulls him deep back in enemy lines. The raise from Denny will miss that, gets up the back wall. The Shadow Fiend Illusion will be fairly scary, but he Requiems to clear those off and cover the path of retreat as Arise. Joins the fight, blinks in and claps and doesn't want to split just yet. Meanwhile, Havost has gone full, full aggression mode into the tier four towers. Now the Overgrowth comes through, holding the brew in place. No Dispel being used. The Overgrowth will wear off. Most now jumping back in onto Ace. Will he commit to this one? Yes, he will. Trying to finish off that Jakiro. Navi just committed to the Tier 4, but it's Denny who's focused on objectives, taking out the Racks during this time. Punic will die, but he gives his life for the greater good. Well, maybe he won't even die. He'll be for unable to finish him off. Still chasing for it, but he's cliff skating. Now he blinks to the south. They're gonna sleep or rise and bring him down again. Dendi gets the kill there as well. Navi, looking like they might be back in form here. They're not just handling Fnatic, they are absolutely swamping them. Dendi will get caught in a nice path here. Classic overextension, but this time it's it's after the, the game is pretty much in the bag. Really not much Fnatic can do from here. He was hoping for a double crit super life steal. <laughs> I think he's he's just having a bit of fun here. Come with me. Is in pursuit, but Vang scores in Viz with a gem. Nature's guys to cover him and uh, Firefly once again. Bat Rider retreating out to the north. FNG is also in Viz. Might even get a courier here. No, that courier's going back to base. I don't even know where Fnatic go. It seems oh, like he's been pursued out down by the bane. Oh, it seems like a pub game. It really does. Especially the the Dendi Shadow Fiend build. The kind of chaotic team fights. The lack of coordination from Fnatic. Just some of the mis unfortunate things, like like the brew walking into a random dust. It's like the type of thing that you just. Oh my god, idiot brew. <laughs> it's not. <pro> <laughs> like, how would you expect that to happen? Polarize. It's just a very random game. But good random. That's where Navi thrives. They're now gonna find come with me. The last of them pull him back straight into Vanscor and Avost. And another easy kill for Navi. Yeah, with this many lanes down, you can't leave your base against the bat. It's honestly, I'm, I'm a little surprised they haven't GG'd out, but we'll see if they can fight on here. Hani has picked up a death slater. He opted to skip that Lincoln's. That leaves him with 950 health against the bat, the bane. Struggle city. Yeah, they're just lacking, severely lacking in damage. They have no way really to take on the bristleback. He has like 2,000 HP. He has 20 armor. He has crimson guard active. No, they have a way to take down a boss. They just have to bait him into dying the, the <laughs> four towers of the fountain. That's the solution to a boss. Cancelize him. The macro fire him. They set up the ice pack, but he gets four steps out of that whole combo. A bunch of spells basically wasted. Even a brewmaster split used. But it's so much commitment for the bristle, who's still healthy. They're going to bring the tree down, but it's right into overgrowth opportunities if he wants to use them. Oh, oh he just did, but really <laughs> accomplished too much with that. Boast. Popping the quills. Funic now blinking out. He's still at half HP. 
They're absolutely fine through this, and now Dendi's gonna find that Requiem. Does he look to unload? Go for another takedown here. No, he's just right clicking here with the death. Three dead. Arise probably next. Oh no, maybe come with me. Gets back back in, continues with the auto attacks, and finishes him off too. Four to fall. Fanatic. Gluttons for punishment will finally GG out. I'll pause it as they do. <laughs> Game over, man. Okay, Rise. Game over. Like okay, Rise. <laughs> no mercy. <sighs> too easy for Navi. 2 0 now in the summit, too. That was just a stomp fest. No, no point in analyzing that. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the. Uh, ugly. Ugly. Brutal. Painful. Poor Rise. He's also really good with OD. But Panda does not seem to be a strong suit. Nothing Poor else guy. to analyze, like you said. That was brutal, man. Pub. <laughs> That's definitely the.